You're not finished, so why don't you include it? You can still make changes. Concerned citizens had a lot of questions and comments for city officials as they presented plans for the Midtown Plaza project. So I urge you to think about how to connect those dots. One of the main concerns had to do with parking. Why are we even thinking about these things, about putting in uh, so many parking spaces? You have plenty of parking spaces. You need spaces where people can walk. City officials like Rochester Business Development Director Brett Garwood we're ready with answers. The parking on street and the parking below is really necessary to attract the kind of business investment and the housing investment that we want to see. Another concern, bicycle and pedestrian traffic mixing with motorists who are not used to all the people out on the roads. So pedestrians sticking into the crosswalks and not moving freely along into the road, in and out of the road, they're going to have to slow down to like walking pace and right now there's the infrastructure there is not there to do that. City officials didn't really have an answer for that in the designs, but there was no shortage of suggestions. Could there be some kind of flashing, um, you know, pedestrian signage, signage that says, you know, look out for pedestrians, slow down. Garwood says for the Midtown project to work, pedestrian movement has to work as well. We, we have to balance the need for cars and parking and the desire to, you know, accommodate and make pedestrians the most important thing. Another general question people have is will the downtown project actually work? Garwood says when you look at the current site, it's hard for people to imagine it becoming something unique and vibrant. But he believes in time it will become just that. Once these infrastructure pieces are underway, it's going to be much easier to market parcels. People need to see it's real and that it's coming.